Cyclists from across the triad are turning their passion into purpose. They are biking several miles to raise money for women who cannot afford mammograms. It's all a part of the major Miles for Mammogram Cycling event. I caught up with the organizers and a participant about how the public can help with their mission. Sally Newman of Greensboro has spent most of her career working in higher education. After receiving a life-changing diagnosis, she has dedicated her life to teaching others about health and wellness. I just want women to realize that we are important as well, you know, and we have, we wear so many hats as women and we have to put our health, make our health and ourselves a priority. In February of 2021, Newman was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer. Doctors performed surgery the following month, removing the cancer from her body. She says her annual mammogram is what ultimately saved her life. You know, we get our hair done, we get our nails done, we get uh, the pedicures, we go shopping. I said, but you, you really have to set a priority and make sure you get mammogram, your mammogram each and every year, each and every year. Newman will share her story as guest speaker at the second annual Major Miles for Mammogram Cycling event. October 15th, the Major Taylor Cycling Club of North Carolina is hosting the race to help raise money for the Cone Health Mammography Scholarship Fund. Organizers say the fund provides mammograms for women who otherwise could not afford the screening service. It's important for women to be able to get their mammograms um, annually because um, you could miss a year. And um, I actually know of someone wife, who did miss a year and her um, breast cancer had advanced to stage four and she's no longer here with us. But just um, people that can't afford mammograms, um, we don't ever want them to be in that position where they can't get a mammogram. Tonight, there will be a pink night ride at 7 p.m. at World War Memorial Stadium on Yanceyville Street. Then tomorrow, the bike ride event will start at 7 a.m. at Barber Park. There will be various food, trucks, and wellness vendors. For details on how to register, just look for this story on our website.